In this video, I'm going to share with you five things that you can do in the Web Starts Editor to help make building pages easier. The first one is content blocks. You can find content blocks by clicking on the add icon and then clicking content blocks and then choosing the type of content that you would like to add to your page. When you choose a content block, what it's doing is it's adding a group of elements to your page all at the same time, which saves you time because you don't have to align those elements individually with one another. Once you've added the content block to your page, you can drag all of the elements together by clicking on the container that they're held within. So for example, this is a full width strip. And when I drag it, you can see all of the contents within that full width strip move together. If you want to change out some of the individual elements, it's easy to do. For example, images, you can just click on and then choose your replacement image. And then text, you can just click on as well. And then you can choose from the different styles that are available, or you can, of course, style those individually. The next thing that I want to show you is how to group elements together. So here, again, we have the full width strip and all of these elements are grouped together, but that's not limited to just content blocks. In fact, you can add another strip or even a box to your page like I have here. And then once you attach this box to another strip and then you drag that strip, it can be moved together or you can even put, let's say for example, this text box into this regular box and then those two elements are attached to one another and then they can be moved together. You can do that for several elements and it helps save you the time of moving each element into a position one at a time. Another tool that you may find to be helpful is the align tool. Notice that when I drag an element, these pink lines and purple lines appear and what those do is they suggest other elements that you might want to align against. But here, for example, if I want these elements to be aligned with each other on the right, I can position the text like so, and then I'm going to drag this other element until it snaps into place, and you can see that it's aligned with an imaginary line running right here on the right side of my elements. The next feature I want to share with you is the resize by pixel feature. There are times where you want a specific element to be an exact size. If you want to do that, select the element, click resize by value, and then enter the exact pixel width and height of that particular element. So here, for example, if I wanted the width of my button to be 200 pixels and the height of my button to be 80 pixels, I would enter that and click OK. You can see that the element was changed to those new values. Just like there are times where you want exact pixel control over the size of an element, there are times where you'll want exact pixel control over the placement of an element. In those situations, I recommend selecting the element and then using the arrow keys to nudge each element over one pixel at a time. So you can go up, down, left, right, and you can nudge any element by using the arrow keys on your keyboard one pixel at a time. Another thing you can do is hold down the shift key and use those same arrow keys to nudge any element over 10 pixels at a time. So this will help you place elements exactly where you want them to appear on your page and help align those exactly the way that you would like them as well. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and see more helpful videos like this.